You lock in those coordinates? No, not yet. They're still trying to pinpoint its location. And if it's drifted behind the moon, there's no way they can lock in the coordinates. Bullshit. <laughs> a nuclear-armed spy satellite roaming freely in space when somebody down there doesn't have their shit together. Call Space Corps Central and find out what the delay is. We're way overdue on that coordinate update. Houston, this is Space Corps 1. Come in, please. Yeah. What the hell was that? Stock automatic boost control. Come in, Houston. This is Space Corps 1. Not responding. This is Space Corps 1. Come in, Houston. Oh, God. Damn it. Get Paxton. Paxton, it's Giles. What's up, Jets? We're having trouble with the R3s and the stackers. Even the fist system, everything is down. Have you tried adjusting the outlays? Yep. Paxton, just see if you can get an override through Leslie. All right, give me a moment. Leslie, we need an override on the bridge. Leslie, what do you mean functional? According to the bridge, nothing is functional. Everything is working accordingly. Talk to me, Paxson. Leslie can't override because everything is listed as functional. We can't go to backup until we discover just what, if anything, is wrong. I'll be up in a second. Inherent dynamic stability. Well, isn't this romantic? Time for candlelight and crevassier. Flynn, what's going on? Why don't you tell us? You said all systems are functional. No, Leslie said that. Well, at least we have auxiliary lighting. Yeah, but for how long? 300 and, uh, 336 hours. That's two weeks and not to worry. We'll get her up and running. You all can forget about two weeks. We got 24 hours if we're lucky. 24 hours. Yeah. Sir, auxiliary systems were hit pretty bad. They appear normal, but there's no response. It's like suddenly they got a mind of their own. Up to now, I don't have a clue what happened. In all the backups? Yep. I believe we're going to be cooked, big time. We got 24 hours auxiliary, but that don't matter, because the oxygen can't last, and it's going to get cold. Temperatures will drop below zero. That's a mouthful of good news. What's happening? Go ahead, tell her. Well, you see, Cookie, without power, we can't replenish the air. You better button up, because it's going to be colder than bluegrass in Alaska in here. Hi, Doc. Glad you're here. What about solar? We can't lock into the sun. Why? Because we're drifting towards Centrus B-40. Centrus B-40? The dark side of the moon. We've lost engine power. Life support? No shit. 
I thought you were supposed to be the authority on the system. What programs were you running? Listen, I've been flying too many years to start pushing the wrong buttons. Now, clearly, the problem is in Leslie. She doesn't run this ship. You do. Listen, you guys, I think we can be a little bit more constructive here. You're right. Can't waste a minute. Let's do a comp analysis. We'll uh, check her out top to bottom. Status update, Jennings. Yeah. Chapel and offset's okay. And running circuits are integrated. What about the interlocks? I got Alex work on that. Because it's such a tight fit. Damn it, Jennings. Can't you concentrate on this? We're in deep shit here. Cookie, with you around, it gets harder and harder all the time. Like, you know something else? It might be your last chance to get into my flight suit. I'll tell you what. Why don't you make a pass at Leslie, huh? Just your type, 100% robotic. Set gyro clock stage. Flip that F switch, it's the white one. The white one? Flynn, try the power feed on this indicator. Anything? No, nothing. Synapses are intact. No broken cables or feed lines. I don't understand this, Flynn. Everything should be functional. This is Space Core One. Mayday. 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 This is Space Corps One. Please acknowledge. Mayday. Mayday. Vector 451, we're approaching Centris B-40. This is Space Corps One. Please come in. Is there anyone there? Mayday. Come in, please. Mayday. God damn, it's cold. Here you go, guys. Oh, I could use a cup. Yeah. Now we're talking. Paxton, your tea is closest to you. Thank you, dear. to be hot. Christ. Oh, it has cream in it. He's allergic to it, Alex. I'm not just allergic. Fibrillation on the heart leading to a major cardiac arrest. Is that a problem? It's not a pretty sight. I'm sorry. I didn't know. You know, you could have told me. Activate Tracam Nav Beacon. So this is on automatic. It'll play throughout the night. Alex just ran the logs. There's not a living thing anywhere near us. Jennings, put the cigarette out. What the fuck for? Because we have to conserve air. Look, the SOS is fail-safe. Somebody will pick it up. Pick this up. Put it out. Hey. Something's out there. It's coming right at us. This is Space Corps One. Come in, please. This is Space Corps One. Come in, please. 
We have a visual on you. Acknowledge, please. Over. There's no response. It doesn't really matter. We must know we're here. Christ, will y'all look at that? I'll be damned. It looks like the shuttle. Discovery from the old NASA program? Jesus, I didn't know those things still flew. It looks like it's been through hell. Giles, why don't you go down to airlock and greet our guests? I hope they know what they're doing. So far, so good. <sighs> Why don't they make contact? Secure. What the hell are they waiting for? Giles, what's going on down there? Not a thing. Okay, Giles, I'm coming down. Let's get suited up. If they won't come to us, we'll go to them. Here you go. Two RTCs, rapid fire chambers, extended barrel, full chokes, heat sensor sights, tracers included. Hey, it can't hurt. Wish I had me one of these babies when I was in Nicaragua. Look, you sure do want me to come with you? I mean, with there are a couple hostiles on that ship. I'm the only one that's trained to handle it. Jennings. If I can locate this other ship's resources, I need you here to set it up from our side. Okay, happy hunting. Alex, you reading me? You're coming in great, Giles. Your suit is reading fine. Giles, be careful. Ship's got an A390. How do we open it? Well, there should be a C cylinder attached underneath. Oh. Alex, your code sequence is 7W824. Look it up. All right. See anything? No, it's too dark. It's the damnest thing I've ever seen. like we've got water damage. Alex, 
I want a molecular readout the moment we actually step inside. Please hurry. We're almost out of air. Look at this. Auxiliary lights. Alex, you got a reading yet? Yes. Their oxygen level is fine. All other compounds are normal except for a high level of sulfur. The temperature is 106. It's impossible. They don't have any power. Okay. We're going to go find the bridge now. Wait a minute. What is it? Check the monitor on your suit, Giles. I'm getting some interference. Atmospherics are going crazy. What the? This is weird. How's that? Wait a minute. It's changing back. What did you do? Just a little high-tech ingenuity. We're moving on. know it's compatible. It's a U.S. ship, isn't it? I'm concerned about air quality. Flynn, we know nothing about that ship. Who knows what could have gotten into their air supply? Paxson, we don't have much choice. Alex said the air in here is fine. That was a crude atmospheric analysis at best. Yeah, well, we're going to have to roll the dice on this one. NASA flight crew on this ship. It couldn't be. NASA hasn't been flying for 30 years. This is weirder than the Flying Dutchman.
Alex, are you getting any imbalances around me? You all right? Everything checked out okay. I don't know. I thought I saw something. Keep your eyes on the monitor, okay? The molecular structure is changing again. Is there an air vent or a heating duct nearby? Hell no, we're standing in the middle of a goddamn room. Well, look around you, Giles. Something is changing it. Jesus, Alex, are you sure there's not a damn thing in here except for us? Giles, if you're in Cargo Bay, you may be getting an exhaust feed from above. Took this mission because I wanted to relax. And I figured the bandage here or there. Jesus. A lot of good this did him. Alex, could you bring the chair over here, please? Looks like a knife cut him. Uh, no. Knife wouldn't cauterize. What about a laser? No. The cut would be deeper. Perhaps it was suicide. Well, I won't rule it out. You said he was hanging from the rafters. Perhaps he got caught up in the fall. Why would he dock the ship and then kill himself? I'm a doctor, not a detective. Maybe there's someone else on the ship? Jennings, I want you to give me a hand. We're going to seal off that airlock. I'm with you on that. What the? Well, looks like we'll be getting some heat. Let me know when you guys come up with something, huh? Mm-hmm. I'll be up in the computer room. What is it? I'm going to access Leslie. May I ask why? Let's just say I need to talk to her. Hello, Leslie. Um, Lieutenant Giles is here to ask you a few questions. What is his clearance code, please? B-306. Paxton, Lieutenant Giles does not have security clearance to access my files. Why not? Uh, well, it's a security override that I added to the system. Uh, purely a precaution. Paxton, nobody authorized you to do that. Get rid of it. I'll need Paxson's verification on that. She's seen if I'm lying. How can I help you, Lieutenant? I need to ask you a few questions about Discovery. 
What would you like to know first? What's their objective? What are they doing up in space? To collect core samples from Centrus B-40. Do you have a Michael C. Godier as a registered employee of the space program? Negative. Well, we found him on the ship. That does not correlate with current data. List all current information on Lieutenant Colonel William T. Marks. William T. Marks has no profile in the current space program. You said the same about Lieutenant Godier. How could they be up in space and you not have a record of it, Leslie? They were never registered in the current space program. Alex, anything new? Working on it, Giles. I'm with Leslie if you need anything. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get back to Discovery 18 for a moment. Who was the last company that owned her? NASA. What year was that? 1992. Did they sell the ship to another company? Negative. The ship was registered lost after an emergency splashdown. Can you explain? Discovery initiated an unscheduled maximum power descent from Centris B-40. The crew was forced to make an emergency landing as a result of multiple malfunctions during re-entry. Okay, where exactly was that splashdown? 126 miles from the Florida coast, between Bermuda and Miami. Bermuda Triangle. All right. Anything who wants to get through that door is going to have to move around 5,000 pounds. What happened to her crew? Two of the three were recovered. What were the names of the two recovered? Captain Blake Shadwell. Lieutenant Colonel William T. Marks. What was the name of the astronaut not recovered? Michael C. Gauthier. What'd you find out? Well, there's no foreign virus. Sea count appears normal. There's no plasma obstruction. For want of a better word, it checks out normal. Yeah, except for a huge hole in the middle of the stomach. This is the weirdest suicide I've ever seen. It was not a suicide. Every sharp instrument leaves some metallic residue. But the wound is absolutely sterile, and the shape of it, it's a perfect triangle. And I mean perfect. There's no way it's self-inflicted. All right. Can I see a graphic? Centris B-40, please. Now visualize the Bermuda Triangle. And give me an indicator light of Discovery's splashdown. Now draw a line from Discovery's location on the moon to their splashdown area. Where is Space Corps 1 in relation to all this?
Who are you? What do you want? I have many names, and I've come to take what is mine. Just wait a minute. What? What are you doing? Let go of me! She's hurt! Nobody is going in there. What is it? Godier is not dead. What are you talking about? He got off the table and he came after Alex. Oh, shit, man, you're losing it. Let me in there. You do that again, I'll kick your ass. I don't care what rank you are. Take it easy, Jennings. I'm just telling you what I saw. Giles, we just can't keep standing around. Now, what is it that you propose we do? Just wait a minute. Let me go in there first, okay? Let him go. He looks pretty dead to me, Giles. He had his hands right around her throat. How's she doing? She's unconscious. Maybe she took a fall. You know, you guys aren't listening to me. She didn't take a goddamn fall. I saw him pull her face inside his stomach. He wouldn't let me out of the computer room. He was looking right at me. Who? Who was looking at you? Godier. We're at the dock handle. Miss Jennings, I need you to give me a hand with the body. We're going to take him down to vaporization. Uh-uh. I ain't going in there. That guy's fucking crazy. Get your ass in here. Paxton, I want you to check the circuit tracers. All right. Hey, come on, come on. If we don't get those thrusters up, we're going to be meeting the man on the moon in person. Listen, I'm going to tell you this as a friend. What you've been saying is just a, a little hard to swallow. We've all suffered a sustained lack of oxygen, and we've all been under a bit of pressure. Godier went into her. I saw it. All right, then let me tell you something as your doctor. You take a breather. There's nothing you can do here. Now look, I'll run some tests. See what I can find out. Okay. Just 
promise me one thing. Don't undo the straps. I promise. Try this. I know what I'm talking about. I said I promise. Okay, Leslie, let's pick up where we left off. Give me a visual history of all the disappearances in the triangle. Maybe we'll find a pattern. The year, 1502. The vessel Gallipo lost. 16 men on board. The year, 1926. The Japanese tanker Mayu lost. 100 men on board. The year, okay, okay, I get the point. Leslie, is there any logical explanation for Discovery's disappearance into the Bermuda Triangle. No logical explanation exists. All right, forget about logic. How about speculation? That an undefined energy of massive proportion has the ability to seize at random any object and transport it without detection to an unknown destination. Could this be directed by an alien, possibly from some different dimension or galaxy. There has never been any contact with alien life forms in the space program thus far. Giles, come on down here. Something's happening with Alex. Ago, her heart started racing, so I gave her 200 milligrams of the verapamil. Here, look at this. This is 280 beats a minute. I mean, her blood pressure is so high she could explode a tire. What's going on? <coughs> I don't know. Look. No, oh, wait. This is, this is wrong. Set position indicated. No, no, no. This is wrong. Tracking is true. Back. She's back to normal. Well, what's wrong with that? It's medically impossible. The human anatomy is not meant to withstand the heartbeat of a hummingbird. She should be dead. She's still unconscious. Talk to me. What just happened here? Well, um, possibly a uh, severe seizure or a very bizarre cardiac arrest. Uh, a series of aneurysms. To tell you the truth, I don't have a clue. Well, I do. There's something inside of her. You still think I'm crazy? Keep the straps on her. Nobody comes in this room until we find out more. There's something about Discovery you should know. Yeah. Oof. Come on, that ship splashed down in the Bermuda Triangle 30 years ago. What's it doing up in space? Look, there's no way that ship took a splash into the Atlantic. It's a typical computer error, Giles. Look, we don't have time to be dicking around with this. We got bigger problems. Thrusters are still malfunctioning. Then how do you explain, Alex? I don't. But we're not going to get any answers unless we get this baby moving. Okay. It has to be a relay block. They're not getting the message to fire up. I have Jennings checking on him now. Anyway, I have to see what I can salvage from this other ship. If it's our relays that are non-functional, maybe we can use theirs. Wait a minute. You're not going back on that ship. Will you cut it out with this sci-fi bullshit? We need the goddamn relays. But even if you find them, they might be completely outdated. 
we don't have much of a choice. Our orbit is getting tighter and tighter. We're less than a thousand miles from the surface. If we don't get this ship moving, we impact in 13 hours. All right, then I'm going with you. No, I need you to stay here to run the compatibilities once I find them. Save us some time. Yeah, Flynn, go ahead. I'm going into their computer now. Still checking. Where are you guys? Bingo. Found the geo relay system. Giles, I'm headed for the third level. Roger. Hey, you want to hear something for real? I locked into the satellite. A little reprogramming to change its orbit. It's our telephone home. Jennings, we don't have three days for somebody to get up here. It's worth a try, Jal. What is it? <coughs> what is it, Flynn? Jeez. It's like a goddamn fish tank in here. Salt water. Salt water. Seaweed. Shit everywhere. What the hell is salt water doing in this ship? Flynn, get out of there! Everything's rusty. Hey, I see the relays. Flynn, get out of there now! What the hell are you doing here? Flynn! Oh, Jesus, let me go! Flynn! What is it? Come with me. in there. Oh, shit. Giles, no, wait! We can't get the hatch open! There's gotta be another way inside. Find it!
Hudson. What did you fire at? I don't know. I had this feeling I just fired. You went here first. Where were you all this time? I knew you'd come. Come closer. I've always wanted you. You have what I desperately desire. There are things I can give you beyond your wildest dreams. Just like Gaudier. Alex.
Get to medical. So much blood. Never had so much blood. God damn you, Jennings! You let it out, didn't you? You fucking let it out! No. I just got here. I just came down to see how she was doing. The door was open. I went in and saw her. Triangle. What is it? What's going on? You open the door, and that's all it took. What in the hell are you talking about? Where the hell were you? Are you accusing me of this? I've had just about enough of your insanity. All right, just hold it, Paxton. Flynn is dead, too. Oh, my God. Captain? Yes. Where was he? The other ship. Captain. The other ship. Ooh! Everybody up to the bridge. Jennings. It's okay. Come on. Now. Hand it over. Not on your life. It very well may come to that. You know something, Giles? I've been thinking. While we were here, working very hard, I might add, you were on that other ship. Yeah, where Flynn was killed. Hey, wait a minute. This clip's empty. Faith. What happened on the other ship? I don't know. I don't. Really? I I just felt something, so I fired. What was it? What was it? God damn it, Jennings, I don't know, man. I don't know either. Just take it easy. That's right. Because he wasn't there, we got separated. Separated? Long enough for him to double back and kill Alex? I know. I didn't kill Alex. Or anyone else. Do it. Waste the motherfucker. Go ahead, kill him! Go ahead, he, he was there with Flynn when they found Gordier. Yeah, that's why he wasted Flynn. Go ahead! Look, just because I was there does not mean that I did it. Precisely. We can't be sure it was any of us. Any one of us could be innocent. Or guilty, Lieutenant Child. Say hello to your judge, jury, and executioner. Jesus Christ, don't shoot him! Do it, whack the motherfucker. I didn't kill anybody. If you really think it was me, Oh. 
Okay, Leslie. Let's take another look at those lost ships. There must be over 500 vessels listed as lost. 665, to be exact. Lucky us. It would be 666. That is correct. Leave the triangle and remove all the numerals and graphics. Give me the longitude and latitude of each point on the triangle. Remove all numerals other than six. Revelations, chapter 13, verse 18, 666, the mark of the beast. Mark of the beast. Transition avionics secure from fast. Where have you been? I was with Leslie. What would you find out? We're on our own. So what are we going to do now? We still have a couple of hours left before we impact. So, I'm gonna go on Discovery and get her relays. Say what? Jennings, we gotta get the ship moving. Now, while I'm gone, I want you guys to stay together. I want us to leave one another's sight. You gotta be kidding me now. Giles, I hate to bring this up, but with nobody watching you, how can we be sure that you won't disconnect and uh, leave us stranded? I'm not back in 30 minutes. Disengage Discovery. Blow her up. Wait! Whoa, we can't do that. Yes, we can. The satellite. We lock in Discovery's coordinates, and after a little drift, she'll get a nice nuclear blast. No. I'll show you. Push this key here. Ships will disengage. Goodbye, Discovery. Give me 30 minutes. If I'm not back, seal off the airlock. And disengage. Giles, these ships separate. There'll be no coming back. Give me a mark at 30. Three, two, one.
I just got this feeling that whatever it was got him. Let's just start the disengagement process now. Nobody's gonna do anything. He said 30 minutes, God damn it, and he's gonna get it. Five minutes more. You're out of your mind. Let's do it. <clears throat> Jennings, Jennings, he's right. He gave me an order. She should be letting that old dog blow any moment now. Now, Praxin, you really surprised me. Back where I come from, that would have been a, a legit court martial, dishonorable discharge, bare pressing the paper, the whole fucking deal. Believe me, getting rid of him and that ship is the best move we could have made. Paxton. What the fuck's wrong with you? What's happening? What the hell's happening? You don't have the guts to use that thing. Where the hell are you? What do you want from me? Fate is in the hands of God. But I control your destiny. I'm losing my fucking mind. Oh, yes. To me. And I will take what is mine.
Stay the fuck away from me. <coughs> Axton, back off. I swear to God, I'll use this. That's right, I swear to God. We can't help you now. You belong to me. You weak, spineless bastard. If you have the courage to shoot me, go ahead, shoot me, pull the trigger. I told you I'd use it. I told you I'd use it, you stupid son of a bitch! Jesus. What have I done? Synchronize target lock to tab. What took you so long? Confidence. Is high. I don't know. Something was trying to keep me from getting back on the ship. I think so, you won. Jennings Paxton. Jennings Paxton. Get away from me, you motherfucker. What is it? It's what's left of the relay system. Let's go. 
Save the prayers, huh? What's your problem? Prayers don't mean jack shit. They do for me. All right. Now, there's only two choices. Either he gets us or we get him. And don't be afraid to use this. All right. Let's go. Blew up, you should be dead. Just do it, man. Just fucking do it. Leslie, give me a status update. Leslie! Leslie! Leslie, it's Giles. Yes, Giles. How may I help you? Give me a status update. The ship has come to a complete standstill. Explain. Reason unknown. At least it gives us more time. How, huh, Giles?
Something wrong? No, I was just thinking. About what? Well, I think there's a way that we can still get home. Really? How's that? Jennings figured out a way to reprogram into the satellite. Send a message to Houston. The shot, right? Sure. Mark Dolores Avenue. Recon location complete. You don't believe in God, do you, Giles? And that's strange. You believe in me? I should have known. Why the Bermuda Triangle? Let's just call it convenient. <laughs> Heaven is the universe, but so is hell. When God cast me from the heavens, I vowed one day I would become more powerful than he. The soul I take strengthens me one hundredfold. Every life I destroy lays claim to one more piece of heaven. Till heaven is nothing more than a crucible filled with dust, which I will break in witness of your creator. You don't think I believe that shit, do you? What good is wisdom if it gives no power to the wise? The moment you questioned your faith, your soul was mine. <coughs> you will kneel before me. <coughs> you had a choice. We all had a choice. No, I still have a choice. Maybe I can't destroy you. But if it's God's will, then so be it. If not, then I'll see you in hell. Three, two, one, zero.
are transmitting on auxiliary. Mayday, Mayday. We are drifting towards Centrus B40. Mayday, Mayday. Thank you.